well and good morning, good Saturday. What a beautiful day out here so far, Keith. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Birds are chirping here, and there's kind of just <laughs> as if doing a little flyover of us here. So one of them is going to hit me set. in the face one of these days when we're live on air. Mm. It's just I, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Yeah, no, no. Hopefully that won't happen. We've had the squirrel attacks up here. We've had everything. So. I, but I've got yeah. I've got to have my animal okay. interaction, I guess. So <laughs> I, hopefully me talking about it more just makes the problem go away. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got going on. As we did mention, a beautiful day outside. 77, it's going to stay that way. Keith, mm. uh, blue skies all around us. Yeah, gorgeous, fast and firm. Back at you, June 1, right? Close to the official start of summer. It feels mm -hmm. like it right now. Yes. But, uh, Going to enjoy a great day here at Laurel Park. Good payouts yesterday. We had a late pick five of over 7,000. Hopefully you, you hit it with that one. But uh, a couple of big performances too, especially Bandcamp. What a run he brought to the table. 86 buyer when drawing off by like seven and change. Right. That was big, big no, run. that was huge. That was mm -hmm. huge. That was great. Uh, Annette Eubanks have just has just been giving us some great prices mm -hmm. throughout uh, the throughout the Pimlico meet as well. So mm -hmm. continuing that into summer. And Keith, let's just kick it away. Let's right. get right into business in this first leg of the early pick five mm -hmm. and a claiming 12-5 going a mile on the turf for dirt for the three-year-olds and up scratch in the two and trust. Yeah. You have the number five on top. Quinn Cannon. This is in the barn of T.J. Aguirre. Johan Rosado gets the call. I think a little shot here. I was hoping the two would stay in, help our price a little bit on the five. Quinn Cannon, he's going to need to kind of run a top. But I think second time in the barn, his moving out from the sprint to the route, the one-turn mile should work. Looked at the family, even sneaking suspicion later today uh, has had some success. Dirt and turf going long. This one didn't have the most comfortable a trip uh, last time out off the break. Was called in between horses a long way. I still like the effort through the last eighth of a mile. Tried hard. That was a decent field. Guapanus, that third place finisher, came back to win. Score on the turf, but Von Hoff, a dropper, uh, can make those moves for uh, BTR, Brittany Russell. Mm -hmm. I, I think Quincana can kind of shadow Pudge Boy Palace because I think that's going to be – he's going to be the main speed here. Freshened up since October. We haven't seen. Protected uh, with the waiver here for uh, Hugh McMahon. He's – on the go back. He's just run faster than all of these. If he gets to the front, he's any kind of like a B plus race. He can probably score here at a short price. Right. Let's look for a little bit more value. Quint Cannon uh, for Tony Aguard Jr. Five, three, four, one for Keith Usel there in race mm -hmm. number one. Keith, let's go ahead to your early pick four ticket and let's see what you got going on for us. You had a $24 ticket yesterday. You got another one of those today. Yeah, we hit yesterday. That was good. Here we little, go. Nice little profit. And, uh, Man, we went the all button in the first leg, got the favorite home. Second choice, okay. you know, unfortunately the favorite got home. Right. Second choice, I think, or third choice uh, almost ranged up to beat them, which really would have boosted that. But we'll take it. A good profit to start uh, the weekend. Two, three, four, ten. Get you kick-started here in race two, four deep. Race three with the three and the seven. Uh, safe trust, big debut uh, mm -hmm. for that Corrales two-year-old. It's a monster mash, and we'll talk about that family. Very familiar family uh, for this two-year-old uh, filly for John Robin. No guts, no glory. Race four, 9, 12, 14. Wrap it up two deep in the fifth. Mama's G's wish. Haley B. Jerry Rob Barn loaded today. No, they do. They mm, really mm. do. It's going to be a potential great showing for the Jerry Rob Barn today mm -hmm. on Saturday to make things exciting for your $24 ticket as it does start in this on the turf, going five and a half in this claiming 20000 which have never won two for the girls' three and up scratches in the 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Those AEs do not run as much as I was waiting as long as I possibly could to see if they were running. But Keith, <laughs> you have the number three on top. This is Molly Tapper. We're going to take a look at that effort back in October, late October at Laurel Park here. Yeah, barn starting uh, to kind of get going a little bit. And she's, you know, six tries on the turf. She's run pretty well in all of them. This particular afternoon, uh, the move up between horses alters course here late. You see that horse kind of drift out. Mm -hmm. I thought finished up quite well. Beaten three and change, New Rome. Uh, keys up against Lady Ensign, who I we'll think we'll see the tomorrow. A couple mm -hmm. of these that were on the AEs are back in, and she probably would have been favored in here. Mm -hmm. Brings the finish. Some questionable speed types in here. There's going to be some flow. Divine Magic from the inside. Hide right away, who I'm going to throw into the mix because the only turf try. Bobbled a little bit at the break. Went back and watched that video. It was a little erratic 3-8. Interesting move back to the turf, but she's 
the speed of the speed. She right. brings anything close uh, to those dirt efforts. But I'm looking for Molly Tapper, Little Josie Wales, maybe the two most established turf sprinters in here. Little Josie Wales just had no shot last time out in that off the turf event. Rush three wide, bumped and shuffle, completely taken out of her game early. Can go back 65, 67, 71 buyer on this turf course. Yep. Anything close to that's going to put her in the winner's circle. Three, four, four, three, one of these two from just off the pace. You wrap things up with the two and the ten hide right yeah. away. And a capitude, Jerry Rob, as you mentioned, uh, just sneaky good underneath. Yeah, you know, by Contheros, they can run on anything. Went to the bottom side. The mare was unraced, but second dam, a winner on the turf, topped at an 86. This filly looks like she's improving slightly. Maybe this change of surface will boost her up a little bit more. So, th yeah, three, four. Uh, 210. Let's go ahead mm -hmm. to race number three in that maiden claiming 45, going four and a half on the dirt for the straight two year old Phillies. Keith, you and I both have the number seven. It's a monster mash on mm -hmm. top. Jerry Robb, Xavier Perez, we know what to kind of expect from this family. Golden Lad, yeah, top side, one arm. Bandit won her first 3 7 for 22, a stakes mm -hmm. winner. This one here is a half to Anna's Bandit. We talked about this one. And no, she's just really, really good. She had a heck of a career. Yeah. The full was pretty good, too. Top, uh, I think, ran a 64 in debut there's also bandits where yep. expect speed plenty of speed within this family win early within this family a good workout two races back another going recently out of the gate so i think it's the monster match will be set to go she's gonna have to have her running shoes on because i tell you what safe trust is three horse for corrales we talked about him yesterday batting about 28 percent mm -hmm. over the last 30 40 days really really good debut now Blinkers go on. This is the same angle he used with Rapita Rosa, who came back to Gallup at Pimlico, beating the boys. Mm -hmm. But safe trust here. Little, little, you know, unruly before the race, reluctant to load. Makes this three wide challenge. Very game to the wire from the top of the stretch. I like this effort. Now, the only thing I would say, Mosler's in the slot. They tend to move up. Was that sure. a help? for her in debut, but I tell you I, what, right. she was razor sharp here for Corrales. I expect a big effort right back with the point was no, going No, I made a mistake. I have this filly underneath. I can abs I, I definitely I definitely see it, especially with the blinkers on. Uh, Mosler 21% with his second time starters. Oh, wow. but the okay. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. the the gate issue is just, there was a lot of gate drama mm -hmm. that involved th this one in that race last time out, so I'm just kind of waiting. That's why I have this one underneath in my picks. Mm -hmm. I'll update that in the afternoon, but we need to just see if we can improve him. But, uh, Keith, I definitely see it from the sharpness that we saw last okay. time out. Yeah, I, I think, you know, she obviously with the experience, she's the horse to beat. The target mm -hmm. is on her. The two, beyond question, was scratched out of a race to go here. The other trombette, I believe, won that day out of that race. So this is, you look at the family, uh, you know, Trombi hasn't had the most success with these two-year-old first Big Pop one at Pimlico. Day the music died, I saw within his family. Good speed, so quality numbers there would not be a surprise at first asking. 7326, Sunflower State, Salzman Jr., what, what can you say? 30% right. or more with these two year olds, especially the firsters. Uh, the mare was okay, three for 15. This is the mm -hmm. first foal out of this mare who was by Kitten's Joy. Let's go ahead mm -hmm. to race number four in a starter optional 12 5, going five and a half on the turf. Scratches in the three, four, and eight. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get uh, some updates uh, on any. It doesn't, actually, no, there are really no AEs. It's it's odd when you see a horse go, a race go to 14 horses mm -hmm. and it's not including on the AEs. Right. So uh, we, let's talk about your number nine, your top selection here in Theodora Grace for Bob Claceres. Forest Boys gets the call eight to one on the morning line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to lose a little bit of that because of these scratches, mm -hmm. right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. 10. Olive Cat I was going to use a little bit today, mm. but not. she's not going to be running this afternoon. But Theodore Grace, she's run well off the layoff. This barn is very capable off a layoff, with the, even with the turf runners. Uh, I go back to the, the two-back try on the page in September of 23 behind a couple of horses that came back to run high 70 numbers, a little bit better feel. But she's going to have to be tied on. She's getting up there now. She's seven. But I think she's going to sit. If, you, if she's going to run big, you're going to see her mid-turn. You no, know, three eighths pulled, maybe about two, two and a half out of it. If she's a little further than that, I'm going to be concerned, unless there's a duel, and then I'm going to okay. But Forrest Boyce yeah. will time the ride as she does time in, time again. Golden can, smooth pebble. Even though they're outside, now this field is scratched down. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the speeds. We're going to look at this video, their most recent effort. This was. Back on the, the. It's 26th of April. Yeah, 26th of April. Thanks, Kyle. And yeah. I tell you. I, 
Smooth Pebble got a great ride, got great position into the turn, able to save ground. Uh, outside, confidently handled was Golden Can, three and four wide. Really doesn't get asked here till mid stretch. She's going to go ahead, she's going to make the lead. Uh, just can't quite hold on. She switches leads very, very late. Mm -hmm. Look at this determined effort. Gritty try, Smooth Pebble, first time over the Laurel Turf Course. It was a good one. She finishes up sharp, and then watch her. I don't know if we'll keep this running, but through the gallop out. She just sprinted away yeah. uh, from Golden Can. So she's going to be right there. 9, 4, 12, 1 sure. for me. Translate, another one. Uh, Seven-year-old yeah. mare, she's mm -hmm. also run okay. She's got good back numbers. She's run well off a of break. Would not surprise to make a run from off the pace. There we go. 9, 14, mm -hmm. 12, 1 for Keith Fusel there in race number four. Race number five is the Rainbow Pick 6. Uh, taking a look at my ticket really quick, I just give you a little bit of a pyramid effect. Race number seven is the race that I go a little bit wide in. I think that that allowance optional 62.5 going a mile on the dirt. The mile is kind of what makes or breaks and this makes this race a bit more interesting to me. Uh, but then I kind of single down here, a single on a race at number nine in Riccio, Riccio for Ricky Silliman, Angel Cruz. This one came back in an awesome fashion for the 2024 season. $19 and 20 cent ticket to get you started off a $900 carryover here for today. And let's discuss that race that does start it off here okay. in race number five and this is going to be as I scroll starter optional 30,000 going three quarters of a mile on the dirt for the Phillies and mares three and up scratching the two Esperana Keith you go with the number four mama G's wish of course Jerry Rob uh, Tori Alba gets the call here yeah we've got video of the uh, of her most recent start along with Haley B yep. uh, mama G's wish she's just in top form right now on the top of her game we're going to highlight Haley B out of the gate though watch this again Three horse, she just gets hammered both sides, knocked around, finds herself, you know, six, seven lengths out of it uh, down the backside on this muddy sealed surface at Pimlico. Now, Hallie B, she's coming back, third start off of a layoff, which is deadly mm -hmm. for this barn. High percentage rate, good ROI, but Mama's G Wish confidently handled. They're going to make her second uh, consecutive win here in this particular race. Battles. You know, internals weren't super sharp. Track a little heavier that particular day, mm -hmm. but spurts away here through the final eighth of a mile. We'll pick up Halle B here late. I thought finished up quite well on the outside when swinging about seven or eight wide. Look for Mama's G Wish to be right up on the lead again, I think, with this scratch of Esperanza. She's sharp right now. Mm -hmm. I think Tori Alba's going to put it right into the race. And no, she says it very well for really clear success. Brazina that you have mm -hmm. underneath for Jamie Ness on the rail. And then Matitude for Jose Magana, Georgie Ruiz. Yeah, everybody out of this race on, <laughs> on the death of Pimlico. Brazina, you know, yeah. she just got knocked off her game early. Bumped around at the break, just couldn't kick it in. Uh, we're going to see this barn trying to pick it back up here in Maryland. I'm sure they will. They got they wouldn't the other day, right? But uh, Ness, you can never really dismiss. But Brazina back to a fast track. She ran some big races here uh, back in March over this track. So I think she's tough from just off the pace. Uh, Mattitude, we talk about her a lot. It all depends on the yeah. break. Right. She's a real question mark. The right. gate's open. Sometimes she gets a little bit quirky. If she breaks straight and true, she's got enough quality speed to go right with Mama's G's wish. Right. Keep her attentive keep her attention and possibly kick on from there. See it well, Keith, mm -hmm. in 4513 in race number five to start that rainbow pick six. We'll be right back after this commercial to talk about the rest of Saturday's card. And we're off. Breaking early is history dating back to colonial times. The cheers tell us guided tours, farm tours, specialty tours are fan favorites. Up the rail, it's membership, adding a new element with benefits, free admission, exclusive events, and more. On the outside, educational opportunities, from field trips to programming for all ages. Around the far turn, it's the Hall of Fame, highlighting racing's most accomplished participants. At the wire, it's the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. Visit racingmuseum.org. Back on the turf, mm -hmm. we begin with the rest of this card in our jackpot super high. Five race also starts the late pick four in a mile and an eighth turf affair for this restricted allowance. No scratches here. Keith, you have the number five, the girl from Ireland on top. Why not? Uh, Graham Motion, Georgie, they team up so well together. We got a nice pushback stat from you. Yeah, last six months, just look at this in Maryland. Four for 11, seven for 11 in the money. 265 ROI. We can go right to the video of that May 17th. Preakness weekend race with Sunby Chalichna was in here, so we can talk about Chalichna as well. The girl from Ireland just didn't really fire. She had position early. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking she just didn't like that course that had to give to it. 
Uh, but I know who did, Shalich. Now we're going to pick this one up, working out here and running a great, great race. Challenges in between horses at 35 to 1. Looks like a nose in front there coming past the 16th pole just to get nipped. Yes. I know a couple people that bet Chalich, now they had to be absolutely sickened. But, man, she comes second off of a break, consistent numbers. I think the biggest key, you look at the flow of this race. There's really no true, true speed. The girl from Ireland has shown a little bit in the past. I would not right. be surprised if Ruiz tries to take the initiative here. Maybe imagine the odds just inside of her will. Mm -hmm. uh, but the biggest concern, and, and I think I'm going to make her my best bet of the day, I think you might get an okay price on nothing great. Is that the mile and an eighth is definitely a concern. You look at some of her races, mile, mile, 16th, maybe a slight flattening. Let's see if she's gotten a little bit older. She can go ahead and stretch out a little bit further right. and get the distance here this afternoon. I think imagine the odds for Katie Voss is definitely an improving type. Dead game to win last time out. Uh, She'll be forward in here, and I, I do like this improvement uh, for this four-year-old by imagining. Now, it's going to be a fun race between mm -hmm. our top three selections there in race number six as Keith used to go 5-7-4-2. Race number seven is an allowance optional 62-5, a mile on the dirt for these three-year-olds. Interesting enough, uh, you go. I love how you go right to the top in the number seven. The band <laughs> runs on. Ronnie Jenkins, Tyus Live, who's seen a clearly asking for a little bit more distance here. Yeah, five and a half out to a mile. We see play harder. They're out of the same race, so. Uh, we did not show video of that one. That's right. I was going to, but did not. But Sorry. play harder. Going to be the speed. It certainly looks like in here. But the band runs on. Both of these horses stretching out. They have family proven to go the mile, mile and the 16th distance. The band runs on last time. Watching that replay. Wide every step. Mm -hmm. As soon as the horse came up to uh, his outside, leaving the eighth bowl, he picked things back up again. And he ran through the wire and kept on going. Uh, the full cyst just missed here to mile. I think this one can go ahead and track. I would love to see Lyophy seem to be able to drop and save a little bit of ground, maybe get some cover around the turn and work off of that from the top of the stretch. But I do think you're going to uh, see a finish. Always a tough ask going for five and a half uh, to the one turn mile. But I think yeah. both of these are capable, play harder, uh, speed, stretch out. All he does is fight. He, if, you, if you hook him, or he, he's going to dig in. And I looked at this family as well, uh, the lone sib. Kingdom carried the speed for two wins out of three tries. I think the other one was the second by a, a DQ, but was able to get to the front and keep going. Six, seven, seven, six on top. Yep. Uh, derbiness, yes, second off the claim. You don't see this barn claim too often, mm -hmm. but the last three years, five for 17 is Brittany Russell, 29% second off the claim. And Capcom, I think second time gelding, first time off the claim. Some things changing up here for this one. Yeah. Has flashed ability. Uh, wouldn't be a surprise at a good number to hit that exact. I, I'm, sub I'm, l I'm glad you went with that because I was, I was really intrigued to put that as a price horse mm -hmm. in, within yeah. the mix. But with the, between our, between a, a, the slew of talent that we have in that field, mm -hmm. it, it was hard. It was hard to put him in. So I, I'm glad you have okay. that one in, Keith. As you go seven six four three, race number mm -hmm. eight is an allowance optional sixty two five a mile on the dirt for the three year old Phillies. Scratch and the two spin the breeze. You and I both go with Planet Claire for Carrie oh. Brian Sheldon Russell. Let's take a look at that off the turf effort at Parks on the 22nd of May. Yeah, I mean, just, just keep her on the dirt the way she's rolling right now. <laughs> a very good effort in debut. A tough, tough ass going two turns that Laurel got beat uh, by a reality. That source came back to win. Uh, but no panic whatsoever in this race uh, by Jockey Paco Lopez down the back stretch and around the final turn. Was collared dead even at the quarter pole. Boy, but I tell you, when he asked, she responded top of the stretch and kicks away, geared down very late for a pretty gaudy 78 mm -hmm. buyer figure for her second time out. Yes, there's a speed to her outside. She doesn't need to lead as evidence in that debut. Tries the one turn for the first time, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. The only concern for me is a little bit of lack of Lasix. I like to right, see okay. it. But, you know, she's run fine without it, and that was first blinkers last time, brought the focus. I think she's right back from just off the pace. Let's talk about the seven mm -hmm. dazzling move, your seven to five morning line for Mike Trombetta. Georgie gets the call on this one. Uh, could be, t interestingly enough, back to from turf to dirt for mm -hmm. Trombetta. It's proven successful. Yeah, and speaking of Gaudy numbers, an 86 2 back at Golf Street. Now, yep. was that. Slop induced. We're going to find out, but she beat a really, really good horse. Sidamar has come back. That's a Mott runner. Has won two straight, including an A other than at Churchill with an 83 buyer. So she beat a quality field. The Lasix comes back on for this effort today. Yes, I think she's going to be forward. Might have to deal with a little bit with Stormy Midnight, but uh, Planet Claire, the top selection. I was looking at that mare for Planet Claire. 
room for me was a 12-5 claim out in California uh, by Jacobson. Went on uh, to run really big in some graded stakes. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty amazing. Your little bargain shopping and got it done. So 5-7-4, Determined Princess. I just thought she ran flat last time. You see the comments stalked inside that day aim, a little fade. Maybe second time here back, she'll run a little bit better. Uh, and the one, go Sherry, go. Big, big effort last yes. time. A big jump in the buyer, a 15 point. I'm from a 54 to a 69. The winner was a 71. There's that regal horse. I, I think this one sits a good trip right. just from just off the pace. See if she can pair up. See if she can run those two efforts back to back because that was a major, major improvement last time. Definitely. Mm -hmm. 5741. Keith Eustel in race number eight. Race number nine is a restricted allowance going a mile and 16th on the turf. Scratch in the six Celtic contender. Scratch in the seven energy efficient. Mm -hmm. You and I both go with the Ricky Silliman Riccio for Angel with Angel Cruz on top. Mm -hmm. Again, let's take a look at that wonderful effort in that first 2024 work on 27th of April. Yeah, and also in this race is Crossland. You'll see the three horses particular afternoon down inside who I thought had the better of the trips. Riccio with no real cover at all was mm -hmm. out there in the clear. Not the easiest of trips in these turf races, but relaxed very well uh, That's particular afternoon for Cruz. Makes the move, gets the lead. Unfortunately, to his outside, uh, you got a couple of horses. Crabs and Beer is the first one to confront. Further out, vaccination mm -hmm. comes from the clouds with a big run. Riccio digging down game, though, just a miss. Big, big effort in return. A little break here. You know, good spacing between the races. Right. Brings it back. Shorter field. He just might pop right to the front. Uh, no, I, I definitely see it. The number four you have underneath is Crossland for Kerry Holbein, Forrest Boyce. This one showed a, a, a nice aptitude for the turf in the past, mm -hmm. kind of just kind of getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, and had the stamina maybe advantage over Riccio. Had been running. But uh, got great position, just was no match whatsoever right. the final eighth of a mile when worked outward. He's going to, you know, I think if he holds his level, Riccio's going to have to come back a little bit if he's going to turn the tables today. Sneaking suspicion is an interesting type. Mm -hmm. This guy has always flashed ability. Right. Uh, put it all together last time. Final quarter, strong, 23 flat. I mean, can sit close enough. Georgia Ruiz riding very well. Uh, I think six six to one you might drop a little bit. But if you're looking for that split horse, that might be the one for your exact. I can definitely mm -hmm. see that. Five, four, one, three, Keith Eustel, race number nine, and the finale uh, here on Saturday is a claiming 12 5, a mile and 16th on the dirt for the girls, three and up, never one, two. Scratching your rail horse, job's not finished. You mm -hmm. go with the two, the new rail horse, and Mucho Macho Myrtle, Carlos Mancia, Georgie Ruiz. Mm -hmm. First time against winners here today. Yeah, nice bump back up last time out. Went, went up the parks and got it done. It wasn't the strongest of field, but the blinkers went on. The attention was there. That's a heavier track, so I don't really worry about those internals. They look a little bit pedestrian, but that track isn't super, super fast a lot of days. So I think this one can move up again off of that race. It's going to have to move up a little bit because the 5G's fireball has a distinct advantage numbers-wise. Interesting, no real protect move here. No raise. Stays here at the 12-5. I guess they want, want the win. This final time that day at Pimlico was only a tick off of any other than Phillies and Mares. Now, granted, that was an off-the-turf race, but there were a couple of horses in there that had some established back dirt form. Big effort for this one uh, going first time. Long, I should say, last time out at Pimlico. Yeah, so 2-5-5-2 will be my keys in there. There we go. Mm -hmm. 2547 for Keith Diesel in our finale. Let's discuss a couple of other things like your value pr play pick in okay. race number four. The number nine at eight to one, that price might come down a little bit. But Theodora, Claceris, and Boyce. Yeah, Claceris had a lot of success with the turf runners, the sprinters. Shasta mm -hmm. Star comes to mind. It really kind of helps all those percentages. But this, this I mean, this mare, she's run well off time. And she's going to have to pop that big race again because you got a couple with recency just to her outside. Golden Can, Smooth Pebble, they, those two will go ahead and set the stage, I think, turning for home. She'll be lurking, Theodore Grace. Let's hope she's got enough finish here off the bench with Boris Boyce. And, of course, your best bet of the day is in race number six, our jackpot super high five race. Seven to two, the girl from Ireland, Grand Motion Georgie Ruiz, coming off of uh, that effort from Pimlico. Off the eased comment. That's right. what I always like. I like coming back, giving those horses another look. An excuse definitely on the softer ground uh, last time out. I think a firmer ground is going to work. Has shown speed in the past. I think nursed along here on the front end or towards the front with Georgie can get it done. 
Let's also discuss a, a couple of other winners. Let's talk about, and we're taking a look at the Jimmy K Turf oh, Cup. Groom's All Business oh. pre-entered for the Export July Cup in Newmarket, England, considered one of the most valuable and prestigious sprints of the British flat racing calendar. So uh, just a lot to to talk about. Uh, but uh, Duarte Jr. worked in Saudi Arabia and France. He knows what kind of horse it takes to get here. So this is, you know, kind of on the nominations as we would word it, Keith. No, uh, I'm telling you, I, I told you this was one of the most impressive turf sprint efforts yes. I've seen in all of my years of calling charts. And that's tens of, I don't know how many thousands of charts, but that was really, really big. Uh, stopped a couple times, eighth pole. I mean, Witty, we know he's a good horse, mm -hmm. had full momentum. This guy shifted out and just rolled right on past left lead. That was first gelding. Every chance to move up a little bit more off of that and proven if the ground comes up a little bit on the softer side, showed he could get it done. So that nomination is for a race on July 9th. If okay. all he's just with G Georgie has been saying he's been this horse has been doing phenomenal oh, after yeah. the Jim McKay. So uh, same energy levels uh, going to breeze today. But if all systems go, uh, they're going to enter him for the Japer in uh, hype. I can't remember the pronunciation, but up in Belmont okay. uh, and that if that goes well, then they'll probably head over to England uh, after cool. that. So that's All exciting. Right. I'll be betting a couple bucks on him next time out. Just let me know when he runs. Sure. We'll be sure to <laughs> let you know. And we will leave it today, Rodman, for some more changes and scratches. All right. Good luck.